All right, good morning. Got the trailer here at the house and we're getting ready to uh, address or take a look at or fix or something. But I wanna get my, my furnace my furnace down here uh, functioning. Uh, it looks like Andrew and I are going to be uh, taking about a three-week trip in November. So November is winter time. It's going to be in the northern part of the country. So we're going to want to have some heat. <laughs> so. Um, if you guys remember back in, uh, in the spring when I hooked up my gas to everything, to the stove, to the refrigerator, and to the hot water tank back there, and to the furnace, we kept getting a, uh, a leak detection from our, from our uh, LP um, detector. So... Through a series of trial and error, we determined that it was, in fact, the furnace. So, let me turn this light on. Okay. So, we determined that it was the furnace. So, the first thing we're going to do is try changing this nipple right here. And see if that will solve the problem. And then we'll hook it up and see where we're at. So before we rip the whole thing out of there. Um, so let me uh, let me get the back door open, get things set up, and get some air conditioning going in here. And then we'll uh, we'll get started. So exciting day! All right, I'll be right back. All right, <clears throat> got the. Uh, Gas manifold secured in, looks great. Um, what I've done here is, this is my, my main gas line coming in, which comes from the back of the coach where the uh, propane tanks are. And then we have a hot water tank, refrigerator, stove, and furnace. And let me see something here. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm sorry. This is the main shutoff valve. So if I want to kill all of the appliance, so refrigerator, hot water, stove, furnace. Okay, so if I shut this off, if I shut this off, I've now isolated all of my appliances. They're not no longer getting any gas, okay? So in a, um, in a storage situation or if I, for whatever reason, want to work on one of these appliances, I can kill the gas right here, the propane. Same thing with any of the individual appliances. I can, I can shut them off. I have to label them because I'm not sure which one goes to which, but that doesn't really matter at this stage. Uh, but I'll put a label on each one and then I'll know what the, uh, you know, what each particular valve goes to. Okay. The <clears throat> Suburban Furnace functions beautifully. We just tested it. I mean, it's blowing out hot air. It made it so hot in here we had to get out of here. <laughs> of course, I don't have the plenum here with me and, uh, getting you know getting the gas situation you know all straightened out because like i said andrew and i are going to take a nice uh, couple three week camping trip and we're going to be going into the northern climate and it would be very nice to have some heat so i needed to get this done and i'm having my surgery on monday so after monday i'm down for several several weeks and then even after that with uh physical therapy and stuff i'm just not going to be able to you know do this kind of stuff i'll be able to put this plenum back on i'm sure with andrew's help but you know once that goes on then the duct system throughout the coach will you know accept that heat and put it where we want it you know where we've got it all going 
which is in the bathroom, the bedroom, the living room, the utility room. Um, anyway, and that works great. I tested it. Okay. Uh, I've got the entire coach completely powered down. No solar, no batteries, no nothing. Um, and if you guys remember my uh, LPG propane detector is wired directly to the batteries and I'm always going to leave that turned on. Only way to turn that off is to pull the fuse. But, uh, so, like I said, there's our plenum. I'll get, when I hook that up, I'll add some more video to it. Uh, refrigerator works great. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reverse those doors. <coughs> you know, when I do that down there, it's just a real quick thing. And then go ahead and put the uh, panels in it because I want the doors to be open this way instead of the way they're set up right now, which is this way. It's just kind of inconvenient. It'll be nice to just, you know, you know, reach there and, and open them up. So, stove works fantastic. Microwave works great. Every, you know, I, I mean, everything works great. So, all right, we'll uh, catch you in a couple of weeks when I'm done rehabilitating from my surgery. Hope everybody has a good time. There's Andrew playing with Patriot. <laughs> all right, get out of here. Whew. Hey, Patriot, ready to go? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You ready to go? All right. Oh, I wanted to open this, uh, this vent right here. Uh, okay. I keep those vents open. I also keep the uh, roof vents open just to keep a little air going through, going through the coach. No big deal. Lock it up. Call it a day. <laughs>